Good morning. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do wooden names. I'm going to be doing a lot of names for my students uh, and I'll go step by step. Okay. This is how the finished product is going to look. So let's get started. Okay, one of the first things I did right here was make a line and I made it over here as well. That's where I'm going to put the letters and it's on pine wood. Okay, so what I do, um, I use some templates that I have already that I purchased before. And then um, I'm gonna use pine wood for this names. I made a line, as you can see, I made a line on the pine wood and I just put the name right there. Okay, the spray that I'm gonna be using is the chalkboard one, black. Okay, the next thing I do is place the letters right there. And then I'm gonna spray them with uh, Rust Oleum Chalkboard. Okay, I just sprayed it. I wait a couple minutes for it to dry. And then I do the next thing. Okay, repeat the process. So these are some names that I already uh, sprayed onto wood. I'm gonna go ahead and show how I do that. Okay, so that I don't over spray, I put uh, just wood to cover the other letters. Once again, I get that uh, chalkboard uh, paint over here and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it again. And a little more. Now I just let it dry and continue repeat the process. Okay, so these are most of the names that I'm going to be doing, hopefully this week. And then um, the next thing I need to do is make little holes on the spaces right here. Con un taladro, with a drill. Okay, now I need to do a hole right here, because that's where it's going to be. There's going to be a gap, and also between the end. Okay, as you can see, I did uh, those two holes, one on the end, and one with the D. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and do all of those right now. Okay, as we can see, I have drilled all the spaces, all the gaps that I need to take out with the scroll saw. Okay, the next step is going to be to cut each one individually out. To separate the names or cut the names out, I will be using the DeWalt scroll saw. And at the same time, I will be using a pedal so that I can adjust the speed. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the names out right here. So, just hold it steady. Okay, now I finished cutting all the names, separating them. Now what I need to do is I uh, use the scroll saw and every part right that's inside right here, all the little holes, I have to cut all the way around it. And then afterwards, I'm gonna use the scroll saw to go all the way through them. It's gonna take a little while, but hopefully I'll finish this week. Okay, now I will be cutting uh, this part right here, the gap. Uh, what I'm going to be using is this uh, circular scroll saw blade. So I'm going to remove the other one that has the teeth right there. And to remove them, first loosen it up. And from the bottom too. There goes that one. Okay, I attached the scroll saw blade from the bottom. Now I'm going to pass this tip right here through the hole right here. And then attach it to the top right here. Okay, I passed the scroll saw blade, the, the circular one, uh, through the hole. Now, what I'm gonna do is attach it right here and then start cutting. Okay, so I have removed the little gap right here the, where I had drilled before. So now I have to do the same with the end. And when I'm done, I'm gonna have to use the scroll saw to go through all the letters right here. That way the name will look nice.
Okay, so we're gonna be doing a uh, one whole name right now. Okay, so before changing the blade, I need to make sure that the machine's off. I loosen it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the inserts right here of the letters. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then you want it to always come toward you. take it out and we did the first part right here so now we got the a the r and then we'll do the whole name okay remember when i said i drilled it that way it'll be nice and clean right here or else it doesn't look as nice so once again insert it tighten it tighten it over here and then you turn it on out and that's the finished name we're gonna sand it and then we're gonna do a base for it and then spray it with orange oil all right stop okay so i finished cutting the names out um now what i need to do is sand all the names out uh so that the black ink can go away and they should look a little bit like this once they're done and then i have to do the base and then uh put uh, orange oil on them so they can uh, stand out a little. Give the, gives them a little bit of gloss. Okay, to sand them, I will be using this uh, DeWalt sander right here. Um, I did have to replace this part because it was no longer, um, the sandpaper was no longer being attached to it. It loses the grip, so I had to put a new one. Cost about 20 bucks, Home Depot or so. So yeah, I'll sand them all. And then I'll do the base and I'll show you how to do the base right now. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do is sand it out. That way I can take out the black right here, the paint. Okay, they've been sanded already. Now um, I just need to do the base for them. The routing table. Uh, I routed this ones already. But now I'm gonna do the, the edges. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this one around. I routed it already. Put it here because I want to route this side. So turn it Gotta sand this real quick, but looks nice and clean. Stop. All right, we're getting there. Um, almost there. So now that I did the name and the base, so what I need to do now is glue. I have to use uh, wood glue to glue all the names. And once I use the wood glue, uh, then I spray it with orange oil. Okay, the wood glue that I'm gonna be using is the Gorilla wood glue and the orange glue after it dries. 
Okay, so just to apply the glue. Make sure you cover all the area, like that. And we put it on the base. Press down a little. Sometimes they move a little, but that's it. Let it dry, it dries in a little while. Within an hour, it should be good. Okay, all the names have glue already. So now it takes about an hour or so to dry, and then I should be able to spray them. So, we'll see. There were a couple of them that lifted up from the sides. But overall, pretty good. It looks like the wood glue has dried now, so time to spray. I sprayed a couple of them over here, and now to spray the rest. Hey, thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like, and I'll see you next time. Hasta luego.